You know who remind, I think your spirit of Cardi B. You and Cardi, y'all, y'all, That's y'all, my girl. y'all spirits. I mean, y'all like really high energy. Yeah. And you know, you you. I mean, I, I mean, I just love you guys together. I love what's, her. what's Cardi? What's Cardi like? She is so sweet. Um, she's very. What's the word I want to say? She's kind of shy to be Cardi B. Like really? you would think Cardi is like loud and she just don't give a fuck and she just boom. No, my girl is actually a little shy. And every time we see each other, she be acting like it's the first time she's seen me ever in life. And I be like, girl, I just saw you. Like, <laughs> turn up. So then we been like after we get around each other for like 20 more minutes, then right. she'll be at normal again. <laughs> what does it what does it mean for the sisterhood? Because it seems like all the people, all the uh, young ladies that you're you're describing, it seems like you guys really have a let me say, you lay does it really have a bond like you really formed a sisterhood yeah like i don't know i really don't go out of my way to try to be cool with anybody in right. the industry you at let this it happen. point yeah i just like let it naturally happen and the relationships that i have right now they just feel supernatural mm-hmm. like and i'm gonna keep emphasizing the relationship with glow because it just we met and then ever since then it was just like no girl come Come over here. Right. Like, we, us two. Right. <laughs> I right. fuck with you. Right. She's so sweet. Meeting, I mean, you said Flo Millie, well, that was your first time meeting her. What impressed you most about, like, Flo Millie, you meeting for the first time, or obviously, you glow, you say you become very close mm-hmm. with glow. What impressed you most about when you first met these? It did, it was not an awkward interaction. Like, sometimes I feel like you meet somebody and you immediately try to, sometimes people be trying to act too cool. Yeah. Sometimes people act a little bougie or they act like, you about to try to do something to them. Like, I feel like we all first met each other and we was immediately like in right. there, like we talking, we having fun. Like nobody had no ego. Like that's what I really right. enjoyed about them. Nobody had a big ego. Like we all was equals. So is it like a situation like sometimes you go somewhere, you see them and they be like, I ain't gonna go over there till she come over I here. I ain't about to speak to her. I ain't about to speak to her. She better come over here. Yeah, yeah. No, no, cause it be like that sometimes. Really? Like, and like, especially in the industry, you know, sometimes it'd be a popularity contest. Right. Um, everybody has an ego. Everybody's a superstar. Um, and uh, you know, as you should, you don't right. know how somebody gonna act. You just walk up on them because you never know what kind of reaction you're right. gonna get. So, I understand when you don't want to just immediately approach somebody because you don't know what they're gonna say to you, right? But in this instance, in the girls that I'm cool with, the first time we ever met each other, it was just natural. It was like, bitch, I like you, no, bitch, I like you. So, what's up? We cool? Are you are you finding out things that you didn't have to worry about when you was with a label? Because now all that's now that I'm the boss, I'm figuring out. There's a lot, but the there's a lot more to it. I'd be like, "What are y'all asking me? What are you talking about? I gotta do what?" So I'm learning, right? But I love it. How does it feel to be your own boss? It feels really good. Can nobody tell me no? Can nobody <laughs> tell me what to do? Can nobody tell me where to be? Right. Can nobody tell me nothing? Y'all can tell me stuff, right. but it's up to me if I listen or not. Right. Let me ask you this: What is your, what is your take? Do you do you or do you believe in ghostwriters? Do you write a lot of your own raps? I mean, what I do. You? I do write all my own verses. Okay. I will take a hook from somebody. Okay. I feel like there's nothing wrong with getting suggestions. When my mom was alive, my mama and me used to go back and forth freestyling, or she'll listen to something I wrote or something I recorded, and she'd be like, "You could say it harder than that." Or huh? you, yeah, she'll be like, you "Mom was like that." My mom was like, "You could say it harder than that." You, or she'll she'll say, "You ain't going hard enough. You need to go in there and do it again." So, taking a suggestion from somebody, I feel like is cool. Yeah, like everybody need a little inspiration. Mm-hmm. But me personally, like I like to write my own verses because it's very hard for me to say things that I did not write. It's very hard for me to believe what I'm saying if I ain't said it. Right. But I don't think nothing wrong with you getting help. Right. Because I'm going to take some help on the hook. Right. Because I talk a lot. So I'm going muff- to write them verses. Right. But when it gets to the hook, I feel like it, it got to be catchy. It got to be simple. It got to be straight to the point. And I'll be talking. So somebody got to, I'll take your you, you advice take, You take that. advice on that. Yeah, I'll take advice on that. Have you written for other people? Will you write for other people? Have you written for other people? You ain't got to say the name. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. I don't know. That don't sound. I ain't convinced. I will like to write for people in the future, but no, I don't. I don't write for other people. So let me ask you a question: Do you have a studio in your home? I don't. You don't. So when like, how do but you? But I, like- I, I have all the equipment. Uh-huh. So wherever I go, I can travel with it, okay. and then have my engineer just come set up wherever I'm at. So what, what's some of the craziest places a song has come to you, and you're like, man, I need to start putting pen to paper. on this tour. 
Really? Yes, I've been recording this whole tour. How do you, I mean, I would, I mean, you would know better than me. I'll be thinking about, man, I, okay, I'm, I'm in Houston tonight. I'm in Dallas tomorrow. I'm no, it's be been a- pretty hectic. Like, my, yeah, my so how do you have to set up every night, everywhere I'm at. And your mind can relax enough to allow you to go to another space where you're thinking creatively on something else already? I'm thinking about words all day long. Like, I'll be writing in the shower. I'll be writing in the bed in the middle of the night. I, write, I was writing on a tour bus. I'll be writing anywhere, like wherever it come to me. And then if I've already, like, especially if, this is what I've been doing a lot on the tour. If I already wrote the song, but something else cool comes to my mm-hmm. mind, I'll be like, okay, so where she need to go sit up in the other room so I can come in there and lay this down. Wow. Is it hard for you to sleep? Is it hard for you to turn your mind off? I have not been sleeping this whole <laughs> couple of months that we've been on tour. Hmm. I don't even know how I'm up here right now. <laughs> really? And I'll be like, damn, I'm tired. And then when it's time to do something else, I'll be like, damn, I'm up. Something come to your mind. It's yeah. hard to turn your mind off. It's it? hard to turn my brain off. Because I got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Who are some of the, obviously you work with some of the, the biggest stars. Who are some people that you haven't worked with that you would love to work with? I haven't worked with Billie Eilish, mm-hmm. and I really want to work with her. Oh, yeah. I like her, and I like her brother a lot. Yeah. I like the dynamic they have. I feel like it's real cool. I like Phineas Beats. I like Phineas as a person, mm-hmm. so I really, I definitely would like to work with both of them. Wow. I like, I like, I mean, I've heard her perform. I was at a, an event, and she performed two songs, two or three songs with her brother. Yeah. They have a, they have a very. They so cool, like, together. Are. So I'm like, damn, let me add some of that sauce a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> let me, oh, how about this here? I'm looking at some of the, the, the people that you perform with, Ariana Grande, Maroon 5, Lil Nas X, uh, Scissor, Future, Quavo, Beyonce, Cardi B. Who surprised you the most in the studio? Who surprised me the most in the studio? I got funny studio stories about a lot of these people. You can share one or two. <laughs> one or two. Um, hmm, who do I want to talk about? Okay. I'm going to talk about Victoria first. Okay. Victoria came and made me an espresso martini in the studio, like a full bartender. Like she had the shaker, she had the, all the ingredients. And I'm like, Victoria, how you know how to do this? I guess this is her specialty. Yeah. I didn't know she was going to come in the, in the goddamn studio room. She, she likes to record with the lights low. Okay. Like she definitely set the mood for me. It was very sexy in there. Right. And my girl whipped out all her equipment to start bartending. She a mixologist, huh? I said, how you know how to do that? I thought you just be singing. No. When you record, what's the what's the mood like? When I record, it's just me and my engineer. I don't like a lot of noise in the studio. I don't like a lot of people. Obviously, the only noise I want to hear is me and the beat. Okay. Um, my studio sessions do not be turned up. I don't even know how people is in there with 82 people jumping up and down, <laughs> doing all that stuff. Everybody be quiet. Okay. <laughs> I, need, <laughs> I need to think. Um, it's like... It's a, I got a basketball goal in the, in the studio I record at. It's like a goal in the back. And sometimes I just go back there and I'll be like... Just messing around. <laughs> this is so random, but I be thinking yes. I'm really Angel Reese when I be back there. Oh, my come on. I, I do. But I be back there and I just play around until I figure out exactly what I want to say. And then I start recording. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.